Hi, my name is Daniel Dutton and I run the website dsdweb.co.uk which provides free help, guidance and support for people that are studying for care qualifications. In this video we will be explaining what the term safeguarding means in the context of health and social care. This is an assessment criterion for the Level 2 and Level 3 diplomas in adult care as well as the care certificate. But before I continue, I'd be very grateful if you could click on the thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This helps the video to be more visible on YouTube so that it can be found easily by other students. The statutory guidance for the Care Act 2014 states that safeguarding is protecting an individual's right to live in safety, free from abuse and neglect. It is about people and organisations working together to prevent and stop both the risks and experience of abuse or neglect, while at the same time making sure that the adult's well-being is promoted, including, where appropriate, having regard to their views, wishes, feelings and beliefs in deciding on any action. This must recognise that adults sometimes have complex interpersonal relationships and may be ambivalent, unclear or unrealistic about their personal circumstances. The Care Act 2014 also identifies six principles of safeguarding. They are empowerment, prevention, proportionality, protection, partnership and accountability. Safeguarding should be both proactive and reactive. The Care Act puts a lot of emphasis on proactive approaches that protect against abuse before it has even occurred. Some proactive methods could include educating individuals about their rights and promoting their independence and self-confidence. Having robust systems and processes in place can also reduce the likelihood of abuse. Safeguarding also incorporates reactive approaches to, pro to protect individuals after abuse has taken place. Some examples of this include taking all allegations, disclosures, suspicions and concerns seriously and carrying out investigations into abuse to identify what might have been done to prevent it. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you require any additional help or want to send feedback about this video, please feel free to use the comment section below or visit my website dsdweb.co.uk. More information about this assessment criterion can be found in the link in the description. And if you've not already done so, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. Bye for now.